What's up? I'm travel photographer Brendan Vanson of brendansadventures.com and today I've got a big, nay, a massive announcement coming your way. We're headed to Peru. So in this video I'm going to give you all the details of this photography workshop and tour that I'm offering in Peru. In May 2015 I'm going to take you through the when, where, why, and how. Let's get into it. So the answer to the who in regards to this photography workshop in Peru is quite simple. I'll be running the photography tour and I'll be your tour leader down in the beautiful country of Peru along with Tiffany Vust of worldmeetsgirl.com who is also a fantastic travel photographer and of course you can be involved as well. We're bringing on 12 participants, we're going to have a max 12 and it doesn't matter if you're a pro or a beginner, we will cater to your needs. Basically since there's two of us tour leaders there and photographers, professional travel photographers, we can basically split the group up into two groups of six with beginners and advanced members shooting and learning different things. So anybody really can get involved from somebody that's just picked up a DSLR to an iPhoneographer even to a professional photographer that's looking to get out there and build their portfolio in a short period of time. We got you covered in Peru. So what's going to go down on this Peru photography workshop? Well, let me break it down for you quite quick and give you a little bit of the itinerary as well. Uh, the tour, as I mentioned, is in May of 2015. We're going to start on May 1st in Lima, ending on May 14th in Cusco, Peru. And yeah, Peru is an incredibly diverse country, so we're going to see everything from seas to high altitude to really interesting people foods, uh, cultures, it's just incredibly diverse, really a beautiful country to photograph. Um, so let's break down the itinerary. We start in Peru. We're going to move on to the desert oasis of Huacachina, which is right among some of the highest sand dunes in the entire world. And from Huacachina, we're going to do a trip to see the wildlife of the Ballestas Islands. And from the Ballestas Islands, we're going to go back to Huacachina and then on to Nazca. In Nazca, you'll have the option of doing an aerial flight over the Nazca lines and do some some aerial photography which is really really fun. I've done those Nazca lines flights about three or four times and it's just a blast up there. Uh, from Nazca we're on to Arequipa. I lived in Arequipa for like a while when I was living in Peru so uh, I know the place. It's one of my favorite cities in the entire world. It's got beautiful architecture and then you've got these massive volcanoes in the background of everything. It's just absolutely stunning. Um, we're there for a day, a uh, little bit over a day, and then we're into the Colca Canyon, which is the second deepest canyon on the entire planet. And not only is it a huge canyon, absolutely beautiful, but it's also home to the largest flying bird in the world, the South American or the Andean condors. And we get up close and personal with them, hopefully. I've been to the Colca Canyon eight times and there's never been a time I've gone that I haven't seen them. On some occasions you get really close to them, like sometimes they swoop really near you. Other times you see them off in the distance, but I hope we'll see them. There's never a guarantee, but we'll do our best to spot some. And we'll definitely see some other things in the Colca Canyons. Some of those big volcanoes I mentioned earlier, some really interesting people and culture. We'll see uh, wild vicuñas on our way there as well. So it's a beautiful trip into the Colca Canyon and you'll, you'll love that. Um, from the Colca Canyon we head to Puno and Puno is the city on Lake Titicaca which is the world's highest navigable lake. It is high. Um, off the top of my head I think the altitude is 3,910 meters. And we're going to do a homestay on Lake Titicaca. So we're going to go out to Amansani Island and do a homestay with a local family. It'll give you an awesome opportunity to do some portrait photography with really interesting subjects. And the island itself is beautiful out there. So if you're more into landscape photography, you'll find lots of things to shoot out there as well. We also, on that trip, do a cruise around Lake Titicaca. We'll go to places like the Uros Reed Islands and to Takie Island. So it, it, it's a fun trip out there. Um, from there we head to Cusco. Cusco obviously is the center of South America in so many ways. It's just, it's, it's the center, the epicenter of history, culture, and all of the good stuff you want to see as a travel photographer in South America. And we're there for two days shooting, you know, the old churches and the old ruins and all, all the things there is in Cusco. It's awesome there. Uh, from Cusco we're off to 
the Sacred Valley. In the Sacred Valley, we'll see um, places like Pisac and a couple of the ancient cities on the way to Aguas Calientes, which is basically Machu Picchu town. And that day, we go up to Machu Picchu for sunrise. And of course, that's it. That's once you see Machu Picchu at sunrise, you've seen it all. You can stop traveling. I swear, it's that cool. I've been there four or five or six times to Machu Picchu and it never gets old. It's amazing. It's absolutely stunning. Um, yeah, and then the tour ends after we take the train back to Cusco on the 14th day on May 14th. So that also answers the question of when. This tour runs May 1st and ends May 14th. Cusco, or Lima to Cusco. So the most important part of this video probably is the how. How can you get on this photography tour with Tiffany Vista and I in Peru? Um, it's quite simple. If you click on me at any point right now, it'll take you over to the booking page on my website on brendansadventures.com. And over there, you're going to get all the information, the facts, the figures, um, the, the detailed itinerary, all that good information. And it will also tell you that the price is $2,880 per person, which includes your accommodation, your transport around Peru, and uh, all the included activities. There's a couple excluded activities that are optionals, like the Nazca flights. Um, but other than that, yeah, that's all that's included. When What's excluded from the tour, what's not included in the tour, are your flights down to Peru as well as things like travel insurance and your food and alcohol and stuff like that. But we think it's a reasonable price, $2,880. You're on the road with two professional um, photographers that will take you through things like one-on-one -on -one workshops and uh, photo editing sessions and um, photo critiques and stuff like that. So you'll have a couple of us at your whims at all times out in the field showing you how to take great photos of Peru. Anyways, that's it for the show today. I want to urge you to head over to my website, brendansadventures.com, and sign up for my newsletter. By signing up to the newsletter, you'll stay up to date with my location and where we're going to be hosting all these great photography tours and workshops around the world. You also get a free copy of my adventure travel magazine. Vagabundo magazine, which is awesome, I promise. There's lots of really cool travel photography within the pages of that magazine. Um, it is freezing cold right now, so I want to wrap this up. Uh, subscribe to the channel, subscribe and stay tuned to, this, to these videos. We're in the Canadian Rockies in the coming weeks, and we'll be doing things like some ski photography, some adventure photography, a lot of really fun stuff in the winter, if I can survive it. And then we're off to do a big road trip within the United States. And then we're off to Colombia, Ecuador, and then Peru for this amazing workshop. I hope you join this workshop. If not, I hope you subscribe to the channel and we'll have some fun anyway. I'll catch you next time. Peace.